Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be making a very simple Swift UI app where we're going to use some data that's available as a REST API online and we're going to use that data and we're going to show that in our Swift UI view. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first I'd like you to go down to the description and find the link for this JSON placeholder API. This API, all it has is it has an array of posts. Uh, every post is uh, dictated with a user ID, an ID, title and body. Now, if you watched the previous video on this channel, you'll know that we're using the same API that we use to learn JSON parsing and we're going to use some of the concepts that we have learned in that video in this video. So if you haven't watched that video, I encourage you to check that out by clicking the I right there on the top right of your screen. So I want you to go into Xcode and set up a new project. Uh, let's name this SwiftUI Networking. And uh, be sure to use the user interface as Swift UI. We're not going to be using storyboards for this and the language as Swift. And we're not going to use any of these extra functionalities in this video. So hit next and choose a place where you're going to save it. So I'm going to save it in my Xcode project directory. Before we start mutating the view in any way, let's start to build the model uh, that's going to do our networking and fetch the data from the REST API. So for that, let's make a new file, which you can do by pressing command N and make this a Swift file because we're not going to be using any of the other pre templates here. Let's just name this uh, networking or let's name it post fetcher. So here is where we're going to do our networking. But before we do the networking, we need to define what a post looks like. We need to define a Swift UI object called post. So for that, first, let's import Swift UI because even though it's not going to be required for the struct, we are going to be using it later in this uh, file. So let's just import Swift UI. And now we're going to make a post uh, structure. So for that, we're going to say struct post. Uh, and it has to conform to identifiable for Swift UI to parse it later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy one of this uh, and I'm just going to bring it as a comment here so that we can have some reference to it and we don't have to keep switching uh, multiple times. So we're going to take this and I'm going to comment this whole thing so that we have some reference to what the data structure looks like. So we're going to say let user ID. And again, be sure to name this exactly as the key suggests in the JSON. Otherwise, there will be errors in parsing. So we're going to say let user ID is of type integer. Then we're going to say let ID is of type integer. And then we're going to say let title is of type string. And we're going to say let body is, uh, is of type string again. All right, so let's now build the class that's going to do our networking. So for that, let's make a class. We'll scroll down a bit. We'll make we'll call this post fetcher. And it has to conform to the type observable object. Why? Because other uh, views can subscribe to this class to observe its changes that this class is going to make. So this observable object class needs to have a published variable, which is basically the variable whenever it changes, it's going to publish its new data so that a view that has subscribed to this observable object can then capture this data and then show it in the view. Simple. So we're going to call this, uh, we have to wrap it with the property wrapper called add published. And we're going to call this uh, var. Uh, we're going to say post is going to be, or it's going to be an array of post. Uh, now uh, let's make a function that does a URL session. So if you have doubts regarding this function, I will not be explaining the function too much in this video, but again, feel free to check out the video uh, that I have linked down in the description. So let's make a function uh, that's going to do our networking. We don't need this prototype, which is going to call a function. So we're going to call function uh, networking. So the first thing we need in this function is the URL. So for that, we're going to copy uh, the URL that that's for the REST API. And we're going to say let URL and we're going to construct it with URL with the string initializer. And then we're going to pass in this and we're going to unwrap it forcefully because I know for sure that there is some data or that URL is valid. Now we're going to start a URL session shared task. So we're going to say URL session dot shared dot data task. And it's going to have this is what we want. We want a URL and then we want a completion handler that gives us three values in return. So we're going to pass in this URL. And then when you tap enter uh, for the completion handler, it's going to return you some data. It's going to return you some response and uh, it's going to return you an error. Uh, URL session task needs to be in a do uh, do try catch otherwise there will be errors so let's put this in a do uh, we're going to do some try inside this and then we're going to catch in case we have an error so let's fill the catch uh, we're just going to say print uh, error dot localized description 
there we go now we need to do this stuff in do so when we parse this json we need to store it in a temporary variable uh, because if we keep uh, mutating the variable multiple times the view is going to change multiple times with every new data that it gets so let's store this in a temporary variable called let temporary posts uh, is equal to now this is where we need to start trying uh, using our json decoder dot self dot decode and we need to pass in the decodable protocol we want it to look like an array of posts because that is what it is this is an array and inside there, there are multiple dictionaries with each dictionary representing a post so we're going to say post uh, and then we're going to call self on it and then we're going to pass in the data for now i'm going to force unwrap it but again please be sure before you force unwrapping stuff now there's an error here that says that post has to conform to decodable which is exactly right because unless it conforms to decodable uh, it won't be able to decode uh, this uh, file from a json but now once we have temposts which is the json decoded version of our api we can call dispatch queue dot main dot async so we need to call dispatch queue main dot async because uh, whatever changes we make here is going to be published to our view and our view needs to update its view so because it's a ui update and ios will only allow ui updates on the main thread we need to call our main.async here we are just going to call our posts and we're going to say this post value now is this temp post so we're going to say self.post is equal to this temp post and we're going to call dot resume on ouch resume on the data task without this your function won't run all right so now we are back in the content view where uh, we're going to be working with the view and we're going to laying it out and then we're going to start uh, getting the data from our observable object class so here let's first make an observed object so we're going to say add observed object we're going to call we're going to give it a var so we're going to call var fetcher of data is equal to that class that we called which was called post fetcher we're going to initialize it emptily there we go so now this fetcher is observing any changes that happens to this post fetcher class so now we have the data from the post fetcher class with us we just need to start building a list view because this was a list of data so we're going to say list and then we're going to pass in this fetcher and then we're going to call its post item on it and so the list will uh, return us a post with every iteration so in the closure we're going to say post in so every time this list runs it's going to return a post right so now let's make a v stack which is going to have the heading of the post and the body of the post so like title of the post and the body of the post and we're going to iterate that using the list so we're going to call a v stack v stack and in this v stack we're going to have two texts so we're going to say text uh, first and then we're going to have text the second one now in the first text is where we're going to put in our title so now we have this post item that this list is returning us with every iteration we're just going to call post.title now uh, in the body we're just going to call post.body everything else is done we're just going to do some stylizing things so we're going to say dot uh, we're going to add in some padding uh, and also we're going to say that this font uh, is of type headline and this one again we'll add in some padding and then we're going to say this font uh, is of type body you can obviously customize it any way that you want but i'm just doing it right now like this just to show you so let's click on resume for the automatic preview there we go build succeeded and we should see something on our screen there we go we see an empty list because obviously we haven't initiated it now once we start uh, the simulator it's going to start doing all the networking stuff and it's going to start giving us our data hopefully there we go so now we have a list that has the headline of the post and the body of the post you can obviously customize it with any post property that you want but now you know how you can use json api and show the data in your swift ui view it's that simple it really lets you build high performance apps with way less code so thank you so much for watching this one uh we'll, i'll be making more tutorials like this in the future like comment subscribe all the good things and especially comment if you have any questions i'll help you solve them immediately but apart from that thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon in the next one.